song. I like that one. That one. Yeah. yeah. You are listening to the Lost Mind. You see it though. Sounds better. You are listening to the Lost Minds podcast. Let's get this session started with uh, the deep breathing exercise. And by deep breathing exercise, I mean. You are like hand holding water. You cannot hold it fall through. Yes. <laughs> so I'd just like to start this podcast off by saying how much I appreciate Brick cutting me off in that last one. I felt like I was on a roll, like a train. <laughs> And then Brick's like comes in here, you unplugs were. my microphone with a pair of scissors, tells me that I'm worthless, that my voice shouldn't be recorded for any human being to ever hear ever again. He almost slapped you too. Yeah. That was if I didn't have the reflexes of a ninja cat, I probably would have been hit. Yeah. I like how you use train in there because you're right. I could refer it to a train, something like a train wreck. It was god awful, it was trash. <laughs> wow. Well I'm glad you at least referred to it something. That was, it was like uh, when you have like a really bad dog, you know, mm-hmm. you just don't know what to do with them. Don't, I never had one of those. Take them out back. That's the person's <laughs> problem. It's the dog's problem. He's like, you don't get sheep anymore, but Pa, I love them. Sorry, I'm going to take them out back. And like, you look out there and they're like, show them the, show them the lake. It's like, show them, the, there's, there's rabbits over there, puppies. Puppies look up over and it just stands up behind them. Two to chest, one to the head. Squirt him down with some shampoo and give him a good bath. Fire. Yeah, <laughs> some lighter fluid. Wow, that is brutal. Gotta eat, like, gotta eat somehow <laughs> when you're on the field, shit. Wow, dude. Avoid the eyes, kids. There's demons among us. <laughs> demons at night. Do demons walk through the day or at night? They walk everywhere, dude. You're obviously here and it's mid fucking day. Could you summon me? You're Satan spawn. <laughs> I'm plugging my microphone last time. Sick of listening to your shit. Always being right and stuff. And I'm like, what? Don't fucking do it. Get your filthy hands off my microphone, you. F- Wait, hold on. Oh. Oh, they, oh my god. And if I, that, Is it even going to work now if I try talking to it again? I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> you back in. <laughs> Hello? Testing mic one, two, three. I'd like to Report. release an emergency. <sighs> so where'd it go? What happened? Where was I? Whoa, dude, I was completely <laughs> was unplugged that? for a minute there. Oh, man. Oh. You know what I really hope happens? It's okay, safe for I hope you trip. I just fall down and hurt your elbow or something. Hold on a second. <laughs> you motherfucker. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sounds pretty weird. Yeah, I bet it does sound weird because you're Juan, fucking Go on, what do you have to say? About what? <laughs> Being right and stuff, let's hear it. Some, fucking some, drop some right. knowledge. Bitch. Drop it. All right. You want to hear some fucking knowledge? One plus one is two. It's two. Boom. To what? What more do you need? That should have blown your fucking pea-sized lizard brain out of the fucking water. What about this planet, huh? What about it? That's flat and perfectly yeah. fucking spherical and surrounded by ice giants that the Norse gods tried to write down for us and tell us to fight them off. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Right. Don't you know? <laughs> that would be the end of the podcast. Is, thanks for listening. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Oi. What'd you put in that though. coffee, dude? You don't want to know. He'll be tired here in a second. Nice. Cosby. I'm tired and uh, nice. <laughs> yeah, perfect. We'll lay over the keyboard and then here we go. You're just going to hear the like, random keyboard. <laughs> Investigator's going to be like, man, it looks like the buttons are being pressed from P to Q. In that order, randomly though. I had to, get, I had to look at it. I'm like, which way is that direction? Sliding like backwards across <laughs> the fucking keyboard. There's also some teeth in there as well. <laughs> 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 Looks like someone was trying to eat it. Trying to eat <laughs> it. Like, <laughs> totally separate from it and stuff. Like totally being messed up. I'm trying to nibble on this thing. It's like, mm. but sir, uh, if he was trying to eat the keyboard, he wouldn't have used his face. Uh, some people. Millennials. I've seen him try to eat cabinets before. 
didn't work. They start with the leg. Captain gets a little wonky. Falls right on him. It's all the Discovery Channel they're watching. Dude. Mm-hmm. It's the Shark Week and shit. Yeah. They're trying to eat things with their faces. They're like, have you sharks heard of, do it. Have you heard of uh, the Beaver Week? Every day, every day is fucking Beaver Day. Every day is a Beaver Day. But I'm talking about like kids are trying to munch on trees. <laughs> dude. That's what they call it nowadays. They, yeah, they're munching on trees. <laughs> And because on the Beaver Channel, they're like, you know, talking about beavers, left, right, big ones, small ones, red ones. If she's taller than six foot, it's called munching on trees. Yeah. Redwoods. 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 Those are the tall redwoods. It's a mossy oak right there. <laughs> <laughs> Other trees, ficus. You got to pull out your RuneScape knowledge, dude. Yeah. Yews. I don't have a level. That's so funny. What Willow. Like, like, what person would do that? Oak. They have, like, some sharp-ass axe. They go walk into the woods. Spruce. See this tree? I'm not high enough level to cut this. <laughs> I'd be like, bitch, if it's wood and this thing's sharp and this cuts, it's cut. And I'm like, whoosh, whoosh. Nope. Don't have the wood cutting level for that. Sorry, your level is just not high Magic enough. tree, dude. I can't, I can't cut that. I need at least level 90 for that. I think it's 90. Maybe 60. So, uh, here pretty soon we're going to be doing that Dungeons and Dragons shit. Well, I'm... See, I don't know how that's going to roll out exactly, but I'm thinking, so our Dungeon Master's got everything laid out, the world and our characters, right? Yeah. And apparently we're supposed to be like a group of ragtag outlaws who... Sounds about right. Um, ...are wanted by the government or something. And I think he's got this great plan, but we got to do everything in our power to go against the grain. I'm down. Well, that's, that we was should the, say it. Like, God damn it! Erase this part. Fucking. <laughs> he's not gonna listen to it. God he doesn't damn. listen to Lost Month's well, podcast. He, he's he not legit. Down to do it next week or something. Um, probably next weekend. I could talk to him. All It'd right. probably be good for me too because next weekend I have off, so we could do it Saturday or something. How's that sound? Would you work yesterday? Yeah. Fucking slave to the man. That's why I wanted to do, get those cameras man. in today. So I can spy. I mean, have security at my house. What are you looking for? So I can. There, so I keep putting out cat food, and it keeps disappearing. And I mm-hmm. don't have cats. Like, I think my neighbor's eating goddamn food. And I think my neighbor. So I got to catch him in the act. I, I was going to put up a bear trap, but I kind of don't want the stains in my yard. It's going to be a big one. Why don't you set up some traps like Home Alone and shit? Just there. a bowling ball yeah, like hanging on the roof. I guess I could get a bondo a bucket. Of string. Yeah. Apparently we'll hold it. Fall into some board with some nails. <laughs> isn't that what, isn't like, it what you did? Like kidneys and shit. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Get a gallon of bondo. Imagine that. Fucking Hardly. Macaulay Culkin should have got fucking manslaughter charges, attempted murder. Yeah, watch the Vsauce on that or something. Like I think they died in almost every stunt or something like they, that. Someone redid it on... Uh, they would have, I guess. On uh, Reddit, where it's like what actually would have happened. Where they got hit when they were up on, going up the stairs and the bowling ball first came, where something came down like a paint jar, paint, paint, hit paint. the first guy. And they did it where they uh, edited the footage. So it actually looked like he had like a broken nose and his jaw was bleeding. And then when that thing hit him, it smashed both of their faces. So when the camera pans down there, their faces just look completely smashed <laughs> and massacred. And they're just dead and there's like blood squirting everywhere. I still love my favorite rendition is the Family Guy one. Where he just fucking, I set up traps, guys. You'll never catch me. He fucking shoots him. Yeah. <laughs> Bam. From the, isn't it from the street? No, He's no. what like, does he say? <laughs> I'm warning you, I have a tarantula or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and then he shoots him in the head, yeah. Well, there's no witnesses. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't grab onto the handle because it was hot. <laughs> <laughs> they make him super smart. Mm-hmm. I avoided the back stairs because they were I think frozen. glorified burglary, so like. Oh man, someone breaks the number, he's gonna trick him like that. So just fuck someone in the middle of the night. Uh, kid wakes up, what's that? Uh, fucking just, yeah, just whoosh, hits him in the face with a fucking rod or something. It just, I don't even know what they have right there. It's, dude, the, anything with they his did, rod? Probably. I mean, Damn. this is a home invasion. <laughs> <laughs> anything can go down. Yeah, dude. All bets are off. You don't got a panic room. Isn't it weird that the, like you can technically get into any house, is, but the only thing that's keeping you from getting into houses is like that invisible barrier. You're like, this is a bad thing to do, and I could probably get hurt, or someone else can get or hurt. that little lock on a door. Yeah. A thin little piece of glass. I could just throw like 
Look, if one, you, one brick will make that window drop. Or just one well-crafted, U.S.-issued hand grenade. Just take that window out. It's like... <laughs> Where the fuck did you get a hand grenade? Well, back in the am. I smuggled them out with my butthole. Carrying this thing around with me for These are German years. long 12 inch hand grenades. And there's <laughs> three of them. These are not an <laughs> issue. <laughs> <laughs> They're like those German grenades with the stick at the end. Vietnam is still going on. It's like, did you smuggle the stick and the grenade out? Yeah. The whole thing. You know, you can detach it from the piece of wood, so you probably yeah, could have got like I 10. know. <laughs> yeah. But it ain't as exciting that way. How'd you do it? Uh, I had my buddy knock me out, and then I told him, if I can still walk when I wake up, you didn't do your job yeah. right. <laughs> in there. It's like, I'm leaving this country in a wheelchair one way or the other. <laughs> it did, I wonder, did you have to, they would take everything, right? Or would you have to mail it to you if you wanted to keep it, if you were going to, towards the end, keep it? No things? way, dude. Back in the day, you worked. can fucking fly with whatever you want. Or when you get done with the military, do they they want their stuff issued back? Like you're supposed to give it back. They issue you uh, well, a pistol, right, and then some gear, and they probably want that back. Anything else you get a bonus or? Yeah, I just don't know how people got away with keeping some of the things. Like, well, you think about it. it. If it's the, ru- the the stuff from them, so they're like the ru- Russian mis- military issue and stuff, like mail it back to you. Or what I think they did was off from their fallen friends. Like, let's say your buddy dies, you just take his standard issue. Uh, rifle and you keep it yeah, they got knives they got like all kinds of tools mm-hmm. oh, you got German Lugers and shit or you can just keep your own and just tell them you lost it because how often do people lose their weapons in war like all the fucking time and you're usually I would say most of the time you're probably not even using your own rifle you're probably using either one you picked up or somebody else's or something got mixed up yeah like, I lost my rifle well, that's the dumbest thing you could have gone and done now, boy. <laughs> Pick up some rocks. Yeah, you're going to be throwing. fighting a really, really, really dangerous battle. It's like, no ammunition. It's like, no you know what the rule of the war, boy? You're not allowed to touch other people's stuff. That's <laughs> just improper. It's like, but what am I supposed to do? Oh, fuck. Well, I don't know. Probably don't shouldn't know. have lost your rifle. It would probably it's like the video games and stuff. Got to go get yourself another one, huh? Pick one up Pick off the up, dead yeah. body. Run out there, you're just running behind someone. Okay, they die, you notes. just instantly got their gun in your I'm sure hand. someone's done that. I think the best complaint like, in video games is like when your teammate dies and you pick up his gun and there's no bullets in it. You're like, <laughs> you motherfucker couldn't even reload this before you died. <laughs> He's like, I was fighting to save you. And I, wonder, I died. I bet that happened a lot, on a lot of, especially with the older World War II. I bet after like a few hours of shooting, they are probably out of bullets. I bet they are picking random guns up off of the people. Yeah, those poor them. bastards didn't have enough bullets. <laughs> Like, we're going to war. Sir, we don't have enough bullets. Fuck it. We don't like those guys that much. He didn't start saying that until, like, all of a sudden. I think that's like, how Russia started was. Started using them all, and then all of a sudden, they're like, uh. You know who had the shittiest job, though? The guy with the fucking flamethrower. Why? Because that smell. Ooh, I bet that smelled like barbecue. Nothing like the smell of napalm in the morning. Napalm. <laughs> fucking light up person in, like in the foxhole. Flame goes in there. It's probably like cooks a little body. Like a gas will come out like a t- little fart. Or fucking bullet. <laughs> straight bullet. It's your fucking tank. <laughs> like back up. It just shoots flame all the way behind all the people. Like you're all, just all like, your platoon. No. You're not, you don't even notice it. It's on fire. <laughs> you're, looking in fr- <laughs> you're looking in front of you at your flame. It's like 13 feet long. <laughs> All of a sudden, it starts getting like shorter and shorter. You're like, "What the fuck's going on?" Little do you realize it's actually coming out the back of your tank, just burning every all your platoon behind you. You turn around, and, guys. My oh shit! And that's like, when they gunfire you're running through the woods, just catching everything on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only do you have a flamethrower and you're smelling everybody burned to death, but if someone shoots that canister on your back, kaboom! That that would be the best thing to do is just start a forest fire in Vietnam. Is a guy just, burn and then it just incinerates everybody. You burn 70,000 square kilometers of fucking land, and they call you a hero because you took all of the fucking Viet Cong out, like, and you're like, This is like, a yeah. desert now. <laughs> it's a desert. <laughs> jungle my ass. I hope you wouldn't. You can't that. hide in the jungle if there ain't no jungle. It's like, to change the song, Welcome to the Desert. <laughs> Welcome to the Desert. We got... 
dirt and sand. <laughs> got dirt and sand. <laughs> I don't think it would be a desert. It would be more like a scorched earth. But I think that's the one thing with Vietnam. It was just it was so uh, wet. Like the date, so they dropped napalm and nothing would burn, except for the spot that like the napalm was on. Think about it. How many napalm bombs did they drop? And they didn't start forest fires. They were because, dude, they're good. They're not trying to get the civilians. Yeah, they were. Yeah. They were strategically dropped in uh, right strips, here. like on that movie where you were soldiers. They dropped that napalm strip right on their fucking own dudes. It's like ah, they grabs his legs. Oh, oh yeah, man. Like so skinning like a chicken leg. You know when you get a nice chicken leg all nice and. Oh god, I fucking hate just, chicken legs. It's like just because of that movie. Sh- uh, I just love this oh. top layer of the skin with the meat. Google knife. it. Oh, nice God. and tough underneath. Right out of the oven too, so like you could see all the fucking fat and stuff just peeling away oh, with I the skin. See. Right as the chicken's still alive, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I wanted to simulate the movie as close as possible. Oh man. How do you know that chicken is that chicken cooked? Hell no, I didn't chicken cook. <laughs> still living. <laughs> <laughs> it's one way to know if your chicken's cooked. If it's still breathing. Dude, That'd be that's horrible. Terrible. That's like a um, who the fuck? Yuri he was showing me. He's like, uh, I can't stand those Asian people. I'm like, what, dude? That's a little racist. He's like, yeah, they're always eating animals alive. And I'm like, that's not just Asian people. I'm like, a lot of people do. He's like, no, check this video out. One, the video doesn't show any person, creed, or race, anything on there. And it's it's like an eel, and the eel's cut up, except its head's still there, and its head's like still doing the thing. Opening its mouth and stuff, and I'm like, dude, the fish is dead. It's obviously being cleaned and dead, and like, its head still making the breathing, you know, thing in the jigger. The brain's still kind of functioning. Yeah, and he's like, no, 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 fire. dude. He's like, it's alive. Look at it. It's moving. I'm like, I understand that. Isn't like, that one with the octopus? Was it eating it alive? Yeah, that one's terrible. And it's like trying to get out. It's like mm-hmm. running away. <laughs> the, and the dude's like, <laughs> teeth prison. Well, there's eight people surrounding it, and they all bite on each tentacle, and they just start seeing who can get to the middle first. What? Yeah. Is that what it is? Nah, I just made that up. But that's that's, that's you know, fucking not. brutal. Lady in the Scrum tram shit. That I... <laughs> they, get, well, they get to the to middle, the and then the first one gets to give the octopus a little peck on the cheek. Oh, shit. The octopus just, like, fucking bites one of them with its like, little oh, beak. Oh, beak. Like... <laughs> Dude, that'd be horrible. They get, yeah, they get to the beak. All of them are just chewing on the beak. Like, Dude, the beak's gross, man. Imagine that. It's just like four or five octopus just start eating you from the hands and legs. That would be terrible, dude. Have you seen the video of the diver that gets attacked by a giant squid? Mm-mm. It comes up and it like wraps all the way around, And he's got a camera and it wraps around the camera and around his like head. And the beak is right in the lens. And it's like snapping at the... Lens and it looks like something out of the movie Alien or something because it like comes out and it's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and he starts panicking and he pulls out his harpoon gun, puts it in its mouth and <laughs> fucking squid whoosh, whoosh, swims away. Guess what? He's got it on a rope. Fucking pulls the bastard back in. Yep. That's fucking really real, cool. yeah. There's also one of a, a shark. The guy's like sitting there swimming and he sees a shark like swim by him and then it does a fucking quick U-turn. It comes flying right back at him and opens up its mouth. He pulls out his harpoon gun and shoves it down the shark's mouth and shoots him right in the mouth. I think I may have seen that one is like swimming up towards him. Yeah. Yeah. That and it sense. opens up its mouth just to like bite at him and he sticks the harpoon gun right into its mouth and shoots it. And the shark's like swimming backwards trying to get away from it. Sharks don't swim backwards. No, it tried. It attempted. Damn. It's like... Yeah, it's a hooga. I ate something that I don't like. I've seen a video of like a guy that like was fishing and caught a shark, and then another shark like bit that shark, attacked the shark on the line. This fucking is. dude. There's always a bigger fish. Tell me this: Do you guys think crocodiles and alligators are living dinosaurs? No, I think the birds are like living dinosaurs. I think they're living dinosaurs, dude. No. Have you seen a fucking alligator attacking? A small animal, like a gazelle. Mm-hmm. It's a T-Rex, dude, with really stubby legs. I feel like t- T-Rex and alligator were the same, except alligator well, were midget chicken, versions. Isn't the chicken the closest relative to a dinosaur? I don't know. I, I like doubt it, dude. That's what I, I sat on an alligator one time. You did? Yeah. What were your parents thinking? I don't know. I had a, It was at Alligator Park. <laughs> 
They're like, you want to sit on an alligator? I was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 and they're like, do you want to pay for the picture? I was like, no. And so they had Aubrey take a picture. Like on the side. I have a picture of it. I'm like holding its mouth or whatever. And I'm like. How big was it? Probably easy, 100 footer. Just kidding, I don't know. You have a dude. <laughs> Maybe right. 10 feet. You ever seen feet. Megalodon? You just think you take Megalodon in a one on one fist fight. <laughs> you ever seen Godzilla? It was like if Godzilla and an iguana had a baby. Mm-hmm. Damn, I wonder mm-hmm. how big it was. It wasn't really that big, and it was that. But I would say it'd be 8 feet. I think you're compensating. It was probably like a little two foot it was, it was baby a little croc. Tiny baby one. No, they had they, they was all had stuff. like three hundred of them. It was tape. It had tape on its mouth. Oh, um, puss! Yeah. I would have been like, remove the tape, dude. Well, there was like three hundred like of them bitch. all there. So like, there's probably yeah, there's hundreds. All of them were like dead, dead behind the eyes. They basically they just sat there. They didn't do anything. Birds were standing on them. They were even doing a thing where they. We're uh, trying to feed them pieces of the chicken and like having it go down lines, and they're trying to jump up to grab it. And dude, they're they're like stupid. And just sitting there, and it would go to try and get this piece if it would like they threw it too far away. Fucking birds would just land, walk over there, grab it, fly off because they knew the thing weren't gonna do shit to them, dude. Birds were like, all over and their stuff, like be like chilling on them and stuff. I'm like, dude, why aren't these birds like getting killed? And I don't know if it was the sanctuary ones, but supposedly that place is. Ones that they pick up from all over what, Florida, and then they brought them there, you know? Well, there's your, there's your problem yeah. right there. They're Florida fucking gators. They're probably on They're all sorts of drugs Dude. from the Florida fucking sewage. Sure, People dumping sure. drugs down their toilets. Goes right into the alligators. They eat it. Boom, now you got roid gators. You got hallucinogen gators. I'm surprised the Ninja Turtles haven't spawned down there in Florida already. Yeah, Ninja stuff. Gators. Nin- Ooh, those would be Teenage nasty. Bobby. They'd have tails. Teenage Gators. Teenage Mutant Ninja Gators. Teenage Mutant Ninja Gators. good. That's Ninja why. Like, you, know, you never hear about the Ninja Turtles, right? Because they got eaten by the Ninja Gators. They're just doing, you know, just doing the work underneath the streets. At the same have you, time, staying out of sight. Have you ever seen that crocodile eat a fucking turtle? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Crushes its fucking little shell. Yeah, the blood. There's like a lot of blood. I was surprised. Like, the turtle's like, you'll never get me out of here. You'll never. Oh, God. <laughs> Coming in. Oh, God. It's just the way it crunches through it, too. It's like. Poor it fucking. Shell. Have you ever seen a what? naked turtle? It's impossible. That would be cool to see, though. It'd be impossible. You have a mech turtle? A Ooh. robot turtle. Like you take it out of its shell slowly mm-hmm. and Put make it, it into a, a robot shell. Robot shell. And then you add machine guns what? on it. <laughs> and they're, they're your defense mechanism because most people oh, like laser yeah, sharks put them, You put them where all those little baby turtles spawn. You know how they get eaten up? Mm-hmm. You put one of them mech turtles right there. Fucking just good birds. luck. Yeah. Out of the sky. Yeah, why don't they just stop there one time and then like shoot all the birds off? And just see what mm-hmm. happens. A bunch of turtles. I think they should just shoot all the birds. Yeah, just like Honestly, shoot them away. Just shoot like, them. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, you don't even have to shoot them. Just put like a, a net. Or a stick scarecrow, and that all the way to the ocean, just two feet above the turtles. What about the what about the cr- um, the cr- crabs and well, fucking fish that are? They, waiting they're for not going to do too much damage compared to the birds. You have a couple hundred birds snatching them up. Yeah, the That's true. Crazy versus birds. one crab, maybe a few crabs. And birds are basic, nature basically like a plant life. You know, their their consciousness is like a plant. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> It moves, it fucking just bites on it, you know? It That's like true. Food. Birds, one bird can eat like fucking seven turtles easily. Just, cause they just put them in their stomach and they leave. It's like, I'll save this one for later. Dude. Ooh, a turtle. Ooh, another turtle. Ooh, a turtle. Ooh, a turtle. Ooh, Ooh a piece of turtle. turtle. Ooh, Ooh, a piece of turtle. <laughs> well, all the people that are like listening, they're like, listen, like birds. Fuck you, man. Dude, fucking you know what? Turtles birds suck. are like the winged fucking serpents of the sky, all right, bro? Turtles are dumb. They just have stupid shells on their faces. <laughs> they, dude, I feel like, yeah, birds look weird when they like take all their feathers off like little grimy little creatures. Dude, they're raptors. Have you <laughs> seen <laughs> the naked t- chicken? Yeah. Fucking raptor. Dude, That's what I'm saying right there. I, I feel like raptors, just the way they move, you can tell they look like raptors. Just the way that they like, but, yeah, their shake, you know, the way they scratch at things, the way they well, listen and move, you know, their heads. Supposedly, uh, raptors have have feathers on them, right? Mm-hmm. I think what I, I would want to do that if I uh, became a millionaire, I'd like to buy like 40 roosters, but the naked ones, 
have them painted green so they look like raptors, put speakers on their backs to make raptor noises, and then just release them in some tall grass. It's like... <laughs> You see him running around. You're like raptors in the tall grass. <laughs> It'd be funny to like if you did that. Took people just to like an island or something. So it was like a prank island stuff. Yeah, we'll just uh, we got the rooms just up through here. We'll just go through the fields. Like, what the hell? <laughs> They're in the grass. Like, raptors. Um, so what the fuck? Some dude invented a, uh, a tail for a chicken. It's like a tie on tail. And it looks like a raptor tail. <laughs> and he, like you tie it onto the chicken cool. and it looks like it has a raptor's tail. Oh, really? Yeah, and what it does to the chicken is it uh, actually changes its posture to look more dinosaur-like. Did it straighten it out? Yeah, it straightens it out. So it looks more like a raptor. So you put those on, paint the chickens green. You put a little beak on it so it covers its beak, but it looks like a like a like a mouth. Oh yeah. You let them go in the grass. Then you record it and be like, "I found dinosaurs," and they're like, "Oi, oh, yeah. it's the tall grass." Look at that! See, there he is, Roy. There you can see his tail. It's like. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, you see him around. like hold their heads, or you hold their body and then move them. Mm-hmm. And their fucking head, head just then out of nowhere, a fucking eagle just swoops like down and grabs punch. one of them. <laughs> oh my god! He just got taken away by a pterodon. <laughs> a pterodon. It's like, Take an eagle and fucking spray paint him green. Pterodon. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, that'd be funny. Like, yeah, you just like spray extra clumps on it and stuff so it looks kind of scaly in certain parts. Mm-hmm. You're like, well, what is this thing? Dude, we can Dinosaur. call ourselves the prank bros. Let's just go around and we'll prank dinosaurs. Dude, what else looks like a dinosaur? We're, we're going to take this freaking bald eagle, <laughs> paint it green, and crash it into the Mary- nation's capital. It's going to look like a dinosaur. It's going to be great. Yeah. See, <laughs> but you are a din- Trump's a dinosaur. Dude, oh my God, that'd be so Trump's funny. a lizard. Lizard dinosaur. Look at this footage. And we'll just so like shittily edit to a, a tail. Deface an eagle. Deface the country's capital. Make the president like, look like a lizard. Be sitting around a table, probably a little bigger than this. And then just come in. <laughs> just tranquilizes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks. I was thirsty. It's like quick little shots of like heroin, Red Bull. <laughs> Open your mouth. Open your fucking mouth. Be like, be like Jack Daniels. <laughs> Jack Daniels. <laughs> playing good cup and bad cup on you right there. You know. Yeah, I guess it's alright. Third guy walks in. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. <laughs> I grab Half the wrong of my guy. head's gone. I'm just like <laughs> blood squirting everywhere. Brian's like, you know what? I actually kind of like that on the ceiling. It looks good. Oh God, hey, there's more share for us. Oh shit! The guy's like, well, fuck. I started this. I'm gonna have to end it. Brick's like, no, you don't. The third person's like Pearl from like uh, what is that? The Funnier Die, the little girl. She's like, <laughs> <laughs> she's the the unstable one. Dude, that's what we'll play. We'll play good cop, bad cop, unstable cop. (laughs) (laughs) Just the other two. The bad guy's like, look, I know what you guys are trying to do. You're trying to do good cop, bad cop routine. This ain't going to work. Can bust him through the door. Bam, to the leg. (laughs) Right in the knee. (laughs) Well. You can't do this. I just ran red light. (laughs) You got two out of three right. (laughs) I wonder if you would could do that, like just keep putting more and more people in the interrogation room and like just complicate things <laughs> to the point where you just drive the person crazy, you know, <laughs> getting everything complicated. Would be stuff. even better is if oh, uh, there's good cop, bad cop. Oh my god, fucking overcomplicated cop, asshole cop. <laughs> complicated cop. <laughs> like seven cops, eight twenty-eight cops. Depressed cop. Like, the depressed cop. The so happy that's how cop. cops are, anyways. On a like a call, fucking, it's like domestic violence or something. It's like <laughs> seven cops. Everyone shows up for those dudes. Like, what's the problem here, man? Well, he yelled at me, and I yelled back at him, and we got yelling at each other, and now we call the cops. Yeah. All right, so I guess I'm here to yeah, put the him in the paddy wagon. Let's go, boys! <laughs> Just drive you out to the middle of a field. All, All right, I'll party in there. <laughs> now, are we going to agree to stop yelling at each other, or are we going to have to do something about this? Murder cop. <laughs> Murder cop comes out of the car. It's just <laughs> Robocop. Gun comes out of his fucking hip. Outlines the two people. They're like, look, look. Well, ma'am, it's your lucky day. <laughs> I'm programmed to take out the enemy so I can get this 
Robo Police party started. It's like, mm, mm. Next thing you know, all the cops are like, yeah, man, we can party in here. Doom, doom, this fool's got a big screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, New Guardians. What's up? Dude, it's going to be like the movie Dread, where there are fucking cops, executioners, and judges at the same oh, time. It'd be kind of good, too, because then it'd be, I mean, you know, they're on point, you know. The no. guys are pretty good. Who, Judge Dread? Yeah, Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd's on point. <laughs> He's 100%. But there's some bad guys. There's some mm-hmm. bad apples. What do you got against bad apples? Well, they taste bad. You ever, Bob, you ever bobbed for apples? Just like, <laughs> no. I remember one time I went to a party. It was like a Halloween party, and it was like a, one of my mom's like friends from like oh. from work. And there's like little kids, and they had bobbed for apples. And the kid was a vampire, and he like went first, and he went and bobbed for apples, and fucking the whole thing filled up with like the makeup and stuff, the paint <laughs> from his face. And they're like, "All right, you're next." I was like, "No." <laughs> I was like, yeah, "I don't want to." Like, oh, we bought apples. I'm like, I'm not opening my mouth in that water. I'm like, oh, no. it'd be funny. You go in there, you bob, pull it out, and you have the makeup on that that kid <laughs> left in there. <laughs> you look exactly it's like it's like those dipping things. You know, those <laughs> ones, like, God damn it's it! Like, no, it's like upside down. I'm in like upside down. This should be so. You're like, fuck now. I'm a vampire. A vampire karate kid. <laughs> Dude, that just doesn't work. <laughs> I want the I want the rest of the apple. It's like, it's like look. Something either went awfully wrong or <laughs> Vampire Ninja Turtle. <laughs> Vampire Ninja- <laughs> <laughs> I like to bob for apples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a weird ass sport though back in the day. I wonder what like brought them to play that game and Bob stuff. for Apples? Yeah. Bob for probably Bob for your life is what it used to be called. Yeah. Except there'd be no apples. Right, where they used to pick there'd up chips. The guy would be like, just chilling in his barrel. He's all naked. There's a bunch of apples. And stuff. Hey, what you doing in there, Laverne? Oh, shoot. Sh- nothing, you know, just chilling in hot, cool, cool water, you know, out of the hot sun and all. You want an apple? You got to yeah. come get it with your mouth. Oh, yeah. What you mean? You, it's a game, you know? You, you've called Bob and... You ever play Bob and for apples and stuff? Go on. It's like, uh, we, they float right to the top. But, okay. It's like, uh, can't get that one. Keep trying. <laughs> Keep trying. Don't bite oh. on it. Oh, trick is trying. not to bite She's on like, it. Why is that one sunk all the way to the ground? You got to go for that one. Those are the best ones. Mm. I'm running out of breath. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. I can't breathe no more. Keep trying. Next thing you know, he went and was playing cards, and he's like, guess what? You ever heard of Bob and for Apples? What? I just made up a thing called Bob and for Apples, man. No, chicks love it. Next thing you know, it was like, spread like wildfire. And then, you know, everyone's really... On one side of the coin knows what's going on. On the other side of the coin, they're really naive to it. And so they think it's a game. They like, tell the kids, you guys want to play Bob and for Apples? And then there goes the whole fucking neighborhood. And there <laughs> goes the fuck. The game's ruined. <laughs> then the game's ruined. Like, it's not a kid's game. <laughs> it's like, a grown-up game. can play it. It can be fun. It's not the way we play this, honey. <laughs> we bob for apples in the tub. <laughs> so back in the day, dude, they would spin... A fucking piece of metal with like a stick down the road. What? Yeah, dude, that was like their fucking fun. They would have a mill, like a bike frame, like a bike rim, and they'd roll it down the hill, and they'd take a stick and they'd like whack it across the top to keep it rolling. That sounds revolutionary. And kick dude, the can. I've never. It's modern. I've never. You what? Go up to this. There's a place monument, and you go to the little thing. They'll have the little kids. That's with the little little LDS kids are playing. I know they do the Pioneer track. Do you ever hear that? Yeah, I went on it. Are you fucking kidding me? You dressed oh, up like, like no. a dingleberry like and you fucking walked behind like a, a wagon? Pilgrim. Oh, man. You pull a fucking wagon. Oh, my God, dude. You, you walk in front of the wagon like a slave. You know what I was thinking? <laughs> you know what I was thinking? I say we we do, when the next one happens, we dress up like fucking Cherokee. Yeah. Or like Apache. Oh. Like, la, 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 la. We fucking start shooting arrows at them. We'll come running by and I'll be like, I am... Who's the most famous one? Uh, fucking Pancho. No. <coughs> Pancho Villa? Uh, Sacagawea? No. <laughs> there's like, <laughs> there's a one, fuck, god damn it. There's like Buffalo Bill, uh, or that's the other guy, huh? There's the one, what's the dude, the one on, uh, History on Fire was talking about? Crazy Horse? Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse. I'm, bu- I'm Crazy Horse. Mm-hmm. And you are all surrounded. Like, no. Drop your wagons. Like, look, dude. We're just out here for a couple hours. I said, drop you. Right in his face. <laughs> Anybody else have any quarrels? <laughs> Anybody else? Dude, there's a perfect time when you can do this, okay? Because there's a point. Dude, oh, my God. 
I should just go through the running of this shit. This Wait, is, have you actually really done that? Yeah, dude. I went on it when I was in high school. This is back oh, when I, I didn't know what I was like. Embarrassing, dude. This is when you were like switching between were, like, genders seven. and stuff. No, I had no idea about Mid-transition. it. Mid-transition. They invited me everything because the church was like trying was to ring me in. You know? I, was, oh, yeah. I was in the stage. Singles I didn't know. ward. I was like, i got to touch my weepy all the time. <laughs> <laughs> weepy? <Yeah. laughs> hey, wee wee. Uh, so I go and th- they basically, I don't know. Th- it's the same with their like testimony stuff. You know, they want, they just, just come try, you know, just come, just come hang out. Just come just try. Put just put your hand on it. Just, just, just come it. say hi. You don't have to go and do anything, man. We take care of everything, man. Just come, just come chill. It's camping. You like camping? You I'm like, hell food? yeah, I like camping. You, want you like food? fishing? I'm like, I love camping. Yeah. Free food, barbecue, campfires. I'm like, hell yeah. I'm like, where you guys going? You like peeing in the wind? Yeah. And, well, they, it was, uh, I can't remember what lake it was by. And I was like, oh, hell yeah, I'm down for that. And then they, they gave me a little paper that says you need, like, a pants. Everything needs to be in some sack. You know, no toothpaste. You have to bring baking soda and, like, dumb ash. Also, everything's got to be old school. <coughs> and you get there and freaking... It's basically, yeah, a cart. They assign you to a family of people. It's, like, a, a f- just random people all through all the different, a bunch of different wards. And so they send, assign just to random families. And then you just basically, just like the pilgrims, get the little cart, push the damn cart. And you have a trail that you go, and it goes, like, for so many days. And then the things eventually meet you there, so there's, like, bathrooms and stuff. But pretty much you just sleep on the ground and be a, pretend to be a pilgrim. But along that the way... That does sound like a good place to meet some chicks, though. Oh, dude. You, yeah, you start meeting your sisters. Oh, there we go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're like, this is your family. You're assigned to them. You walk in there, there's, like, six girls. They're like, we need someone to pull the cart. That's why they assigned you to here. No, I need someone to pull God, my cart. damn it. <laughs> You're like, look, there's only one way I'm moving anywhere from here. Now, that's one thing I will say, like, in, in pretty much, you know, I guess across the board, I feel like a lot of LDS girls, there's a handful that, you know, uh, need to work on themselves, but a lot of, like, LDS girls are usually just, for the most part, are always pretty, you know, they mm-hmm. always take care of themselves. Yeah. They that's why we're going to be crazy look. horse. Crazy horse, oh, take yeah, whatever yeah. you want. Sorry, so the long hole. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's a yeah. perfect time for this, dude. There's, <laughs> dude. there's a perfect time. Because they give you all these... So when you get your family, they give you a fucking, like, sack of rice, and they want you to dress it. It's supposed to be your baby and shit. And, like, halfway through the thing, they'll be like, all right, we found out that we had a sickness roll through the thing. We have no more food. So yeah. We have to eat the, <laughs> we have to eat the babies. <laughs> we have to eat the babies. No, but they're like... They're like... The, the long straths, you know, the smiths, and whoever else, your babies all died from the sickness. We need you to bury your babies, you know. And straight up, people start crying and shit. They have to oh, bury God. their bag of rice and shit, you know? Um, and then there was a p- part halfway through, they're like, all right, we have an announcement. We just got a word. It was just some random people, you know? We need all the men to line up, everyone of the age of this, which is everyone, because you have to be 14 or older, so technically you don't have any kids. They're like, we all have to go to war. There's a call to war. The men must leave. I guess there was some call to war or something. And so they all left him, and the females had to push a big trek of it themselves. And so the men have to stand to the side and watch him push, and everyone starts crying for some reason. Because they're, like, pushing up a hill. They're like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, we've been pushing for, like, four days. And you fucking act like all of a sudden now, like, oh, my God. <laughs> you know, it's like, for, like, four days. It's like nothing's changed, you know, it's the same shit. Or maybe the fact you haven't been pushing them. That was the other thing. They'd always be trying to sing a song and shit. Let's sing a song. And, all right, I am a child. And they start, like, clapping and... The people I was with, like the one guy was in not my, we had like troops that were part of our family. So it wasn't my brother. had been like a cousin or whatever. He always get mad at our pack of people. He's like, I need all the women to stop singing and start pushing. <laughs> He's like, use your voice energy to push this card energy. <laughs> so, There's always one person who's just. Uh, but he, 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 those people were funny because the one there was like a big ass hill and he's like, I'm going to push this one myself. He's like, everyone get off. I want to push it myself. She's like, trying to push it, you know. Like you can do it, but um, because the cart up, the cart just like overpowers and, nice, and rolls dude. all the way back down. <laughs> nobody helps. Yeah, him. Nobody, nobody helps. In my way. It's like whoop, whoop, taking other carts down <laughs> with them. Fucking <laughs> 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 jackknife with <laughs> launches and like a catapult. <laughs> But basically, it loads everything in there. You load everything, but it's like good trailers. They got you know good bearings, like it would be on a trailer and stuff. But when that part, when I mean, it goes called a war, you know they make them go up there and they're all crying and stuff. As the boys all walk up and stuff like that, you just like shh, shh, come out the woods. You, 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 come with me. <laughs> Dude, it'd be no, funny just to like shh. hide inside of the trailer, and then as soon as the guys come back, what's going on? Where's all the girls? <laughs> Throwing tomahawks. It'd be really cool just to be like on horses and watching them from a distance. 
Uh, That'd be just cool on top too. of a plane. Oh. Yeah. Uh, For the first couple of days, they're like, was, I think I seen people over there. Uh, how how open is so it? Is it like out in the open? It, like, would you be able to you, do that? People, all the wards from all over the United States do it um, at t- different times in different areas throughout the entire trek that they did. So they'll, there's people that will even go back and do it from where the start was. And there's people, a lot of them will do it up here and stuff. Dude, that'd be so cool. That would be tight. Just Especially if we had like 20 of us. Mm-hmm. Just first, lined up. First you just have like two, and then the next they have like five. Well, what is like, it? Uh, and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger, and there's like dudes with like a spear, and it's got like the banner. And then just point. One person just points at another. Dude, this is the Red Dawn, not the Red Dawn. Uh, what do they call that? Dude, we would just be like the what the Mormon the Meadow, Mormon Meadow Massacre. That they just barely now is I think going through a trial. Where the I Mormon Meadow. Yeah, they all a bunch of like the men and stuff uh, heard about travelers coming back, and then there was groups of travelers that had left from the group and stuff, and then they were telling them, "No, you can't be doing this stuff." You know, there's natives and things. So all the men mounted up dressed like Native Americans and then just went and, like, slaughtered a bunch of guys. That, that would left. be kind of cool, and, though, and dude. they made movies about it, but they got banned here. Supposedly. What if, like, you surrounded them and then were just like, this is the Mormon Metal Massacre or something like that. Like, that doesn't in, exist. In 1795, a group of Mormon something rathers did this and that, so then you have them thinking, like, uh, What? Oh, I've never heard good. about this. Dude, they would believe anything you said because you pull up on, like, one night, you go there, and all of a sudden there's uh, another family, a random wagon, and everything's set up. And they're like, we're just a traveling family band. We're just here about blah, blah. And so then they end up playing music that night, you know, randomly. Oh, so it makes it seem like it is. But, you know, because they, they, they're set up and everything's there. But technically that could have happened, you know. So you could just go to an outcrop thing or whatever that's sitting there. And, Wait, we, like, so random people would just join on random days and start pushing their cart? Well, they're not no. random. They have a part in it where yeah. they're just like, oh, we're just a passerby, you know? Making it oh. a play. So you have the whole thing going on, you Imagine know? that, though, like at nighttime, just have all your Indian friends, and you're just like, in the background, everybody's like, what Everyone sleeps on the ground, dude. You could, like, fucking run up to them and just, like, cover their faces. You could really, like, do straight after a kid getting dude. fucking dark brick yeah we're over you here could, like you could really fucking stab <laughs> someone in the face get out of there nobody would know they don't have any technology no cell phones we'd have not vision goggles yeah it's like natives didn't have that look ryan do gotta what? do what you gotta do. You gotta do. The full, <laughs> do you want them to have the full experience or not yeah. you just get in there you just oh, snag man. a couple of ropes on their feet and i'll say <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's cowboys, huh? They're like, gone, dude. And there's like, shh. You're like, it took your foot right out of their fucking the woods. Tent. <laughs> 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 You're just being dragged like, ah. the <laughs> Oh, man. All the people that are like, because you know, you got like a, your whole crew. So Ooh. all the people like, <laughs> there's like 20 people there. we get dragged in different directions. <laughs> dude, dude you get some crazy. Halloween decorations, some spears in the ground with heads on them, <laughs> some fucking hanging bodies. Just like, Tonto. Don't, don't. Yeah, be like in the Revenant and stuff. And that exactly, dude. Like the Revenant, dude. And when we can Revenant catch a, a grizzly bear, <laughs> okay, and we'll leave it in a cage, and then when the time is right, after 16 days and nights of not feeding it, this <laughs> is random oh, grizzly bear comes running out of nowhere. Bear. <laughs> what or the a fuck? monster or something. Like, yeah. An alligator. Ooh. Dressed as like God. Show up to him in the field. Thank you, my children. You're doing the work that I need, or whatever, like some speech. Some, you know? some cool ass shades on. <laughs> hey, yeah, I'm your hey, Jesus. hey, you, come with me. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, you died of the plague. <laughs> come here, baby. <laughs> hey, baby girl. You're coming to heaven right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, did you just commit a sin? <laughs> She's like, what? So like, you just killed my heart. Let me baptize you. <laughs> <laughs> The dude at that place last night was like, cause, dude, it's so random. I don't know what it is, but I've been having a lot of people touch my butt. Yeah, come up to me, ch- touch my heart <laughs> with Jesus. Everyone come been talking to me about fucking Jesus. Like there was a guy last night. I don't know if you're a Jesus man and stuff, but I'm LDS and I love Jesus Christ and stuff. And I it took me eighty Marian. years, and I've been here, and you know, and I've found the true word of God, and it's really helped me to live a great and happy life. I would just like to know, have you found that same thing? Yeah. Stab him. Uh, and it was, I was like, sit, like sitting there when I was <laughs> thinking about the whole thing. I'm like, that's a loaded question, man. I'm like, ah, I'm just not for me, you know. I'm just not a group kind of guy. 
I don't have those kind of things. Oh, yeah, I just thought you'd be talking about it, you know? Another person at a different event was fucking like a Christian person and stuff. He asked me like the kind of same thing. Do you know if there's a big population of that kind of stuff? You look like someone uh, that maybe... Lord Jesus. Maybe, maybe uh, probably probably like a spiritual person like myself or whatever, but not part of this LDS community and stuff. So I'm like, well, I, you know, I have like crazy ideas. Because I'm a, as a Christian man or whatever, I'm like, oh my Jesus Christ. Mm-hmm. Like, there like, goes this idea of oh, putting put, put me in the group, you know, and stuff like that. Especially with like recently with the religion stuff. I'm like, oh, is it everyone talking about this stuff all of a sudden? So, I don't know. I think that'd be really cool, dude. I think we should do it. Just get like 20 people. We'll just stand on a ridge and look at them every day. If we don't have horses, we'll just have those sticks with the horse heads on them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone with coconut, with coconut shells. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You see, yeah, I've got to be honest. I've been riding for days. But you don't even have a horse. What? Oh, would it be uh, would it be crazy just to, I mean, we could just do like, you know, either Hills Have Eyes status or like, what was that? Not the Boogeyman, Jeepers Creepers. Just like break off one of their wheels and the little thing. Oh, man. <laughs> Dang, the cart's down. <laughs> oh, jeez. Do we have a spare wheel? <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Golly put, gee, our wheel's broken. We'll just put it on this one, okay? And they'll put it on that one. And then later that day, you break that one and, like, a couple others. Oh, man, the weight must have broke on this one, too. Oh, what the heck? Put them all So they're all sharing them. And then you just... Disappear. I guess by that time, you're not out there that too many long. But unless you have more many that day, so you can slowly break them all. <laughs> then they're not going anywhere. They're just like, all oh, the carts are broken. It's like the all the rice has gone bad. All, all those movies, the things always attack their vehicles, and then the people are, like, stuck. And they just chase them around in circles all over the area, that, but they're <laughs> by their barn or wherever the thing, and it's like, dude, it's always happens. They just get, like, in their van and stuff. They straight our tires, they straight out the stuff. They got the keys to this car, they got that. It's like, in the middle of nowhere. It's like, oh, man. It's like, damn, we really messed up by bringing one set of keys. Yeah. <laughs> Should have brought... Four tires. Why don't we we should have known some freaks were going to slash out four I just tires. think, like, if I was in that convoy or whatever, like, doing that, it's like, even as a little kid, like, let's say I was 15 or something and I was doing it, and we're sitting there marching, and I'm just pushing things, being completely bored, then you look off to the right or to the left, and you look at the horizon, and, like, you just see a silhouette of a dude, like, sitting on a horse with, like, a little feather on his head. And then you're Damn. like, what the hell is that? And then, like, three more appear to his left and right, and then, like, six more appear. Like seven, and they're just standing in a line looking at you. I think that'd be cool. That'd be so fucking dope, dude. You'd be like, who it are those would be guys? Cool too, if you were to get like even closer in. So if you were to be kind of close by, so they do see those people in another time, maybe like towards like dawn or dusk or something. You're just sitting in the woods, and people are like, I think, is there someone oh, right here? Oh shit, dude, I got a great is idea. Right the only thing that would suck is I'm white. No way, I can't pull face, off being dude. in, huh? Gotta you just like do the you know camo face. No, I, I guess you could, because I know, isn't in the movie Pocahontas, a lot of the actors that were playing the Native Americans, they're actually white guys, weren't they? Probably, dude. Most they just, likely. like, painted their skin, like, a tone. Uh, red. Yeah, like a red, reddish tone. Orange. They, 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 they did that with that John Wayne movie with the King of Scott, and they, like, made a whole movie about that shit, and I don't think they cast, like, one Asian person. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know what I was thinking, I think dude? So, yeah. All right, we'll do this. We'll have an inside guy on the trek. He has an arrow that's about to come, that, that flings up with blood splatter. So it looks like someone just straight up poof, shot an arrow right at one guy to make sure they know that we mean business. That'd be so cool. That would be pretty cool. Like, it's under his shirt, mm-hmm. like a spring-loaded, like, looks it's like, like a- an arrow hit him. So it's like, boom, pops up, and he's just like, poof, onto a cart. And then we no, drag the rice! <laughs> Stay in the rice! I'm all right. It's, all, it's only... And they have another one that gets his fucking throat slit and another one that gets his head scalped. Oh, just one whole cart. Like, you, one crew just comes out and jacks mm-hmm. the first cart. You know, maybe the people that might not know them as much, but they're like the dummy cart that was put up there for them. Like a like, dummy cart? That'd be I funny. wonder what the people would do. Dude, Boom! Cart. Where'd they get that? It's the rice! Yeah, you teach a dog new tricks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to hold large portions of rice together. It gets flammable. Yeah, rice and blood. It's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, never to mix rice and blood. <laughs> I would. Oh, shit. I was just thinking about the rice and blood mixture and stuff. It's probably something so stupid. <laughs> probably a lot of protein. Even with, I don't know, with the, them attacking and all that kind of stuff. 
I think, it, dude, just going there and even just doing like subtle pranks, even if you didn't even, even just dressing like one or two of them and stuff, or even if you were to do something like that, I don't know. You know I don't really think funny? anyone would no, do I've anything. I think they would just trouble. stare, dude. Well, I think they, they would, would all stare. think that it's part of it, and they'd all have big ass smiles on their face, and that's when you slice your friend's throat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh. just come running through with the horse. <laughs> Run through the crowd where you're, but like right in front of your buddy, just whoosh, swing your arm and he's just like whoosh, oh, falls on the ground, so it actually looks like it. Day mm-hmm. two, right before you get ready to leave, you guys have your closing prayer to send off. So like, <laughs> you get hit with the arrow. Jesus Christ, he's like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. by the time everyone looks up, you know the arrow is. They just like set it up. You just uh, set up the arrow, uh, uh, or you can have two two people that are in on the prank and just have like him like. You know those uh, arrows? It looks like an arrow. Like, usually people wear it on their head. It's got, like, oh, the yeah. oh, something oh, like that. Yeah. But, like, you could just kind of put it like this, like, around the chest. So it looks like – so you don't have to have, like, some spring contraption. Yeah, something you could just push on there. Yeah, you just push on real quick. That'd be so funny. Just be like, like oh. I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ? And it's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like uh, – Everyone just looks up slowly, you know. But, and that's when they look up on the ridge. The amen? And they just see the arrow. And you look on the ridge, and there's a group of fucking dudes that look like Native Americans. <laughs> they run away. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Just fucking perfect timing. An eagle. We can get someone that has a trained bald eagle on oh, their arm. Or a falcon. No, it's got to be a bald eagle. Right. It's got to be ridiculously big, and it's got to be a small, petite girl that trained it. So the eagle looks as big as her. She's <laughs> oh, so like, it's even bigger. It's like, <laughs> yeah. She just launches it. It's like... <laughs> It's a dragon! Dude, this <laughs> dragon! Prank would turn over. It's so horrible. You're probably like, all right, this is a, see, it, it sounds perfect, right? They're like, yeah, go out and do it. Run down there. Everyone, like, panics, freaks out. Fucking, you end up stomp, trampling kids with the horses and shit. <laughs> Everyone's, like, getting hurt. And fucking guy, like, falls on the fake arrow. <laughs> and the <little> guy <laughs> falls off a cliff, starts rolling yeah, like, down ah. full force. You're like, oh, shit, you're like at least you're getting the real experience. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never go trekking again. Dude, that's what I said. When I was Train the eagle to swoop down and grab bags of rice. Mm-hmm. The, the lady's holding it. It's like, <laughs> just grabs a bag of rice. My baby. Dude, they'd cry. People, they started crying. Yeah, just People imagine if dying. a freaking bald eagle <laughs> took it out of your hand. Wait. Zoom. There's just rice falling out of the sky. Dude, it's like a brainwash event, though, because like halfway through it, they make you do a fireside where they want you to bear your testimony, and everyone gets in a big-ass circle, and then they just sit there, hey... Uh, we need everyone here to tell us the time or bear their testimony how they know the church is true, you know. And everyone goes up there to tell their fucking story. One time my mom was f- sick and she really just didn't know what was going on, didn't know what to do. And so she prayed and the neighbors came over and brought her a bowl of soup. And it was like a dang miracle, you know. They knew that she needed the soup because she had this feeling. And those two feelings together, one plus one, two equals, you know, God. And so therefore, she took some Nyquil. The next the day, it's true. Yeah, it's like felt better. Um, yeah, dude, I've actually heard those before. Did I actually use that story for? And story I had to go me. home and cut my nails so short. <laughs> Forget about it. But they, they kept they, they just, start peeling limes. <laughs> the stories that people I would peeling say. Peeling limes with my nails that weren't there. It's like, start dipping, me, hold on, hold on. Let me dip these in salt real quick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not, oh. not enough salt. <laughs> my fingers are fucking wrinkled. <laughs> like, I look like my grandma. <laughs> but you know what? The like, church is true. Why are you putting salt? Just to get grip on the... <laughs> I gotta hold on. <laughs> gotta hold on. <laughs> gotta, gotta hold on, with, hold on to the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, help me. It, it was funny, though, because at, at one point, they, they, they ended up coming up only out of this group of, like, 50. There was me and one other kid that when they came up to us... Like, what's your testimony? And I was like, I don't have one. <laughs> and they're like, you have to have something. Do you have anything? Say something. I was like, we don't, I don't have anything. I don't have a testimony. So I, I, like, there's no time you've ever felt like that was just something out of your control. Like, it was one time yeah, I had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> one time I woke up and it was like uh, it was throbbing. <laughs> was, I was it was hurting so bad it was throbbing. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I knew God wanted me to go fat. <laughs> I was like, yes, sir. I'd be like, no, I do believe. The power. Of- it was one time I cut all my fingernails too short. And I prayed, give me the strength to peel nine limits. 
I got limes. Limes. And I got 10 of them done. Dipped them in salt and fat. <laughs> dipped, them, dipped them in salt and fat. That's how I know God is real. He's like, excuse me? Give me the strength. Whatever. Whatever after that story you'd get done, and you're like, after you dipped your salt your finger in the salt and then fat, the guy would be like, Culture <laughs> stands up. Yeah. He's a postal. Get in line. <laughs> Tell us what God said. It's like, all right. It's going to be a part of it, you know? God says we're all going to be wearing Adidas sneakers. Adidas is the official sponsor of the <laughs> LDS church. <laughs> and also, Powerade Mr. Mountain Blueberry. Mountain Blueberry, yeah. <laughs> I always Not say LDS because I guess LDS is a thing here. We always say, but we always say it to people that come in town and stuff. From, uh, and they always ask, "Are you with the church here?" I'm like, "Oh, I'm not LDS. What's LDS?" I'm like, "Oh, Latter Day Saints. It's a church thing. That's their thing. Oh, that's what they go by." You know, I'm like, "Oh, kind of. I guess." You know, like, "Oh, Mormons." We just thought that, that like it was like a thing. Like Mormon was like, you know, like Scientology, Mormonism. Yeah. Oh yeah. But I got that one time from a person who was. He's like, well, I don't go to church and stuff, but I believe in God. And for me, sometimes I always, I don't know, I don't like to go down those roads for, I don't know, with people in the fucking car, because that sometimes kind of weird, you know, and Oh, stuff. fuck yeah. They're like, hmm, you believe in God, huh? I don't. I think I'm going to, when we die, we're probably just going to go to hell. They're probably nowhere. Hey, whoa, I swear, if I fucking crash the car, you know? Because you never know. They you just jump have... up, grab a steering wheel. We're going to heaven together, brother. Oh, shit, dude, we had a freak do that with us. We were driving, and he was, like, swerving on these roads. He's like, yeah, blue, you're going to go to heaven? And he's like, you have nothing to fear then, and stuff like that. And he's, like, fucking drifting around these corners and stuff at this, like, lake. You talking about Ed? Don't be dropping names. Nobody knows who Ed is. Ed Sheeran, dude? If they're going to know that Ed Sheeran, back before he was a famous pop star, was, like, Baby hey, crazy. Yeah. Bunch of fucking losers. <laughs> driving us around. They're driving us around. He's like, hey, do you guys believe in his badass Our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? God. I was like, no. He's like, that's good because we're about to die. And he fucking, four wheels. fucking run off a cliff. <laughs> My life flashed before Brick's ass. That was a really you eye me born. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, meh, <laughs> meh. <laughs> I'm like, like Brick, do you see that? He's like, yeah, I don't know why I'm seeing your life flash before my eyes. <laughs> I did see that. Once you had that birthmark, man, you never told me about that. Oh, that was so funny. Your life's flashing before your eyes and stuff. You're like, this is boring. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All it is like, is just you sitting yours? on a couch <laughs> just in like fast motion forward. <laughs> Every time you've ever fapped, it's just like. <laughs> oh, that'd be so funny. Every fap motion. <laughs> just like, why like, is he dying uh, with a big, such a big smile? <laughs> <laughs> is he still dying? Holy shit. You're on the hospital bed. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that'd be so funny. Like, just die. Yeah, Looks like, like going through a fucking wind tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny. Yeah, you're like going into like lava or some kind of thing, but it's like you haven't finished your your full your know, life hasn't flashed before your eyes yet. So you're like going through lava. It's like a little piece is still there. It's like <laughs> trying to go fast. Come on, should have burned myself. It's like he's got a lot in here, man. It's like there's a lot in here. It's like, Looks like fucking Bellagio fountains out front. <laughs> they pull no, they pull you out. They fucking pull you out, and they're like, "How come you didn't die?" He's like, yeah, "Just you know, not a lot of life in it's me." Like, I ain't done yet. Yeah. I ain't done living. Cause you, he's like, gets out there. Cause I put in the work, all right. <laughs> put in the work. You put in the work, you don't die. <laughs> it's like you just gotta get out there and do it. Live life. <laughs> Fuck if shy, shy nose. Yeah. Shy nose. It's like Siri, but you fell in molten lava. Yeah. And whatever. You can do anything you want to do. You put your mind to it. I just I just do it. Not to die. The lava does not burn. He's like, really? Ah, his fucking hand disappears. Dude, I'd love to see some lava. I would. I want to go see some like. Dude, lava apparently it doesn't like cook you as fast as it's in the movies. Like in the movies, it, like just splashes on you and you turn into a skeleton. Yeah. Apparently, it doesn't do that. No way, dude. But, you can wipe it, it off. Wipe it's it like water. Uh, no, no, yeah. <laughs> it's like, shake, it shake it off. Shake it off. Shake, shake. Flipping molten lava and fucking <laughs> melting flesh. <laughs> Flying all over the place. Dude, that's how I got this fucking burn right here. Like the one that's on my arm right here. Molten lava? Fucking an iron. When I was like three years old, like I pulled it down and it like it fell on the ground. And it like burnt me just so just for the heat from the iron. And so it melted like the skin, and so I, when I was like little, then I started like flipping my hand and shit, and it, like all of it bunched up right there. It's like it was like a glob like that. So that was just from the heat from my iron, you know. Let alone fuck the molten lava. You're like, dang, dude. Um, one of my like sliding up and down. One of my brothers, when he was oh. like 
two years old sat on a fucking oven. Oh, scolding hot oven, he sat on it. Burns. Just think about call hot buns right there. Right when you sit on it, just like that little spiral, you know? Yep. Just torching the fresh little baby skin. The best thing, though, is like when you get hurt when you're little, it goes away. I don't know, like a day. It's, it's like strange, mom. dude. I remember <laughs> like, when I was in uh, junior high school, like I would just cut myself. <laughs> to know I was alive. <laughs> it should know. <laughs> I used to cut myself to feel. I know I was alive. Feel. It's like, is this real? It's like, oh, yes, it is. His mom got him the tickle me emo. She's like, that's the only one they had left. And she's like, I wanted the Elmo. I knew I shouldn't have fucking got him that. She just got him the fucking edge sketch. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Tickle Me Emo? Yeah, they, they've seen that Tickle Me Emo thing. Uh-oh. It's, a, it's like the Tickle Me Elmo, but they made an emo version. It has a knife. Yeah, and he's like, oh, don't leave him alone too long because he might hurt himself. And it's like, got a bunch of cuts on his arm. <laughs> he's like, I cut myself to know I'm alive. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like Tickle Me Emo, he's like, you're a real drag <laughs> and stuff like that. No, but like when I would get hurt or whatever, you get like a scab and I'd be like, man, I wonder how long this is going to take. So I'd time it. Usually took about 25 seconds. Skin now fucking still have this cut and it still is a heal and it's been like fucking four months. I'm like, dude, <laughs> I'm getting breathing. old. It's like a scab, it's just never going. Like it's just never healing. So I've started injecting myself with human steroids. Change. So I feel like right the into the tip of in my too. finger. Like it, when you're little, you could, like hardly. I never. I would like never clean up my scratches. I'd be just oh, go yeah. fall, wipe out, do all that kind of stuff. And I remember my skin would be all healed over, and, and I'd be picking at it, picking at it. And pick out, like, r- gravel and shit out of my yeah. hands and knees from, like, falling on the board. Now, dude, like, all of a sudden, like, uh, I had that, like, with right here. I just barely we went camping. I had, like, I was scratching at something, and it was just felt like it was infected. What the hell? What the hell? Fucking scratch on a big piece of wood in there. Because I had, like, hit a, like, branch with the four-wheeler and stuff in it. I had already pieces of wood in there. My cousin pulled some out. But there's still some in there. And I'm like, damn, as a little kid, I'm like, I-, I felt like it never happened or it forced itself out. Now that I'm older, it's always, like, it's there. It doesn't heal. I can feel it. It doesn't push it out. It- 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 and I'm not even older, too, because I was even saying that shit. My grandma was laughing at me this morning. You know, she's like, it's funny when people your age say, oh, I'm- at my age, I'm this and stuff, you know. It's like a little puss boy. Yeah, she's lived four of my lives. So it's like it's like right now. If I live four more times, wait, how old is she? One hundred and ten, eighty six or something. 86. And she obviously doesn't live four of your lives, dude. Hell yeah, you're like fifty, dude. Because <laughs> if you were twenty five and she was a hundred, that's that's four. Four of your lives. Okay. You're twenty seven. She's eighty. Math's not not my strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Well, shout out to Gam Gams. It was her hundredth birthday. Yeah, one love. Like Ukaracha. That'd be crazy. Hopefully, I get there. Maybe. If I'd like a sustainable 100. Cause the guy I th- thought about that, dude. And you know what I'm thinking? When I hit 80, everywhere I go, I'm going to be going 80. Uh, yeah, when I hit 80, yeah, in a in the fucking fast lane. bullet bike. Robotics. <laughs> like ro- a fucking bullet jazzy. <laughs> My reaction time's not going to be very good, so I'm going to be like. I gotta get out of the way. <laughs> you like that guy? An ejection button on every, uh, <laughs> every one vehicle. Did I watch well, the one where they had this guy in a wheelchair like some fireworks? Did you see that? He had a guy in the in a wheelchair like some fireworks. Oh yeah, and he couldn't move. Yeah, he's, he's like, like, <gasps> like, come on, Harold, get out of there, man. He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's lucky though. He barely he never. He didn't even look back, did he? I don't think Did so. Bit, like the fireworks zone was done by the time he got out of there. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> He's like oh god. Just nah. imagine a war breaks out when you're that old. I'd just be like, give me a shotgun and leave me in the room. <laughs> Strap me with C4. Yeah. Do people are grumpy like that? When I was, we were in like 13 one time, me and Yuri watched a guy tip over on his little fucking jazzy scooter thing in front of California Auto. We ran over there to go grab him and stuff like that. And me and Yuri would go grab him. He's like, don't fucking touch me. Get your fucking hands off me and stuff. Like, put up his little wheelchair and he's like, God damn it, fucking piece of shit establishment fixer, cur- cur- curbs or whatever. And he's like, You alright? And he's like, Do I sound like I'm hurt? <laughs> just like, Dude, yeah, the fuck. Emotionally. It, dude, <laughs> he's like, I, I went through NAM. You think a little curb's gonna fuck stop me? I wanted to, like, drop his fucking thing on the ground and just be like, Fuck you, dude. Take the battery. You're pack disrespectful out. to old people. This is disrespectful. He was probably man. a NAM. Yeah. What's a curb gonna do to him? He's like, what you doing now? Stick around, dude. Is what it did, because he'd be in that thing and being about the way. Just follow him with a what are they called? Uh, a it's stick. Not a, is it a piccolo? Where you go? Beep. No, yeah. Beep. Yeah, those little... He has flashbacks. Like <laughs> some bitch, huh? <laughs> oh, God, that, 
Oh god, they're coming down. That's gotta be shitty for an American holiday, huh? Oh fuck. When you're all a veteran and stuff, you should be the one celebrating. It's like you're just like fuck this, dude. It's like why can't I just have some peace and quiet? It did sound like a fucking war zone, dude. Dude, oh, everyone yeah. was doing fireworks, like, especially with the blow <laughs> And they can't have these, like, really high ones, so they do the le- ones that are legal here are only, what, midway up? Like yeah, 20. but they're so still they, loud so they, as shit. Yeah, so they're even louder than the other ones. So they blow up sooner and fast, like, right closer. They're like, boom, boom, boom. And they're the same size as the other ones. Same size, They're yeah. just, they blow up closer to the ground. Fucking. It sounds like a war zone, dude. Like, the ground's shaking. There's tanks rolling everywhere. Humvees, dude. Freaking Marines running around. I'm like, who are you? They're like, suck me, suck a bleed. I'm like, the Russians. The Russians. Like, they're like, no, it's a holiday. Yeah. It like, is oh, sad, it's... though, seeing like, some of the people, you know, they're like, houses shooting off a bunch of these big ass ones. You got like, another house over there. There's like these little kids watching their sparklers. little ass fucking, yeah, little sparklers. No, what do they have that, though? Little Wasp tanks. Wasp one. Beep. <laughs> 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 like, Dude, this one is the smoke ones. Yeah. It's like, Hopefully, wants it's to watch some snakes. I'm going inside. <laughs> Who wants to watch some snakes? Those little fucking turd <laughs> things. Who wants to watch their driveway turn dark and yeah. gross? <laughs> Who wants a flower that doesn't spin? It just emits flame from a little hole on the edge. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the asphalt burning, <laughs> asshole. Because we used to always wedge those in random ass like places and just, just weld it. <laughs> yeah, weld right through shit. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the torch welder, dude. Like, <sighs> each color, yeah, it kicks in the third gear right here on the red. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> kicks in the third gear. The best is dropping it down to like a fucking fence pipe. Just it's like <laughs> starts so turning red. You're like, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's like, what was the point of that? Dude, there was no point to <laughs> nothing. I, got no I wonder point how many magnets. how many you could throw down there before you could start moving the metal. Oh, the metal pipe. Up. You'd probably have to like put them in a circle so they're like perfectly all of them angled out, mm-hmm. and then try that. light them and just drop them down in there so they all like create a freaking fuse. Like, and then you could. That'd be pretty badass because you, once you get heated, you yeah, mean, you really work it after for a minute. So once it's heated, you could be like, <laughs> "How fucking funny would that be?" Someone wakes up in the morning, their fence is like kind of enclosed, oh. covering their yard. Dude, like, that would that ruin a fence, dude. Yeah. And it's like dude, it would only cost you. The whole neighborhood you just bend up all the fences. Everyone comes out, looks like they're on like at fucking Willy Wonka. Street. <laughs> 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 motherfucking Wonka's neighborhood. Nightmare before Christmas. Willy Wonka ass neighborhood. Fuck? Willy Wonka Street. It's art. Man, it's art. <laughs> it's art. You gonna put me in jail for art? I would be like, actually pissed, but at the same time, I'd be like, "Damn!" I mean, it's like someone doing crop circles. I'm like, "They got, they did work." <laughs> Some of those They're crop busy. circles are nice, dude. They're busy. Yeah, it's like they did good. It's like you were out here all night <laughs> with a, with a red wagon full of flowers, just burning everyone's fences down. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Damn, that's dedication. Yeah. Here's twenty bucks. Thank you. <laughs> For your troubles. <laughs> this is for at least the flowers in my yard. <laughs> Thanks, man. Free flowers. I should really try that. It, we yeah. could try it. Like, just get a pipe and see if it'll actually cook it. That'd be kind of cool just to see it. I'll do it. We should make a video of it just to see what would happen. We could even... I got a bunch of fireworks. I even got, like, Roman candles. We can just put, like, some fucking Sh- upside-down Roman candle in Should there. we, like, get a bucket and fill it with concrete? Put the thing in there? So it actually looks like a... Fence post. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Ooh, if we made layers and then, like, kind of wiggled the pipe somehow. That would be kind of cool. Or, like, make it a spiral. How would you do that, though? We'll have to figure it out. I guess you'd have to put the first one in, let it heat up, bend the pipe this way, then, like, throw dirt in there, throw another one in there, like sand, heat it up, and then just bend it that way, and then keep doing that. So then the fence would just look like boom, 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 boom. That'd be cool. Maybe sturdy too. Maybe fucking heavy at the end, but it would probably get really hard to bend so it at the very end, like the last bend. We could easily do that. We could we could do a lot of like different pieces of metal. Well, depending, we could try it. Firework art. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> until it fucking motors out of there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or it's like just wide enough where it starts it can spin in there. It's like mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it turns into like, oh, all those little bees or whatever they are. They're freaking. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> the hornets. Well, that's actually a good idea, dude. That just gave me a great idea. What if you just used 
the actual fence pipe as your motor for the cherry bombs. Because usually people use the ones on the ground. Fucking if it's do a it cherry in. bomb, it's going to explode. It'll it's not shoot gonna out. Eject. It'll eject. No, it won't. That's what they do. A cherry bomb? Yeah, you put them in the fucking into the motor and it shoots it out. It's like a peg. It's like a bottle. Yeah, just like a motor. Little. The bottom of it explodes full, first. Like two foot detonates pipe. and it shoots it out. Yeah, cause just, I put one in upside down and it because it shoots down or whatever. It's like boom, yeah. blew the fucking thing off the. <laughs> Blew the motor out of the oh, fucking yeah. ground. It was like, I guess we have a project for next weekend. Like, that would be kind of neat to see if it would actually fire out of a. Fence. I got I got a shit ton of fireworks though. So. Same here, but I. I haven't yeah, buy so anything this year. Fire, I didn't buy any this year. Either. I got them from like, the. I think they're like Roman candles and weird ass like flares and shit for photos. And Are bottle rockets them. still illegal in Utah? I don't know. Mm, I don't know if they don't catch you. I feel like they are. You don't hear, like, firecrackers, bottle rockets. Damn. I guess because those aren't, like, the funnest fireworks for, like, 4th of July. Here you get, Actually, those are the ones I'd like the most, dude. Let the neighbors blow off the other ones. You can go, we'll, we'll walk over to the neighbor's house while they blow off those big ones, and I'll let you guys blow up RC cars in front of their kids. All right, well, what the hell? You know, all the little kids will be like, what you doing? Blowing up cars? <laughs> can I join? No, you're doing your own fireworks. <laughs> what are you watching them. <laughs> getting bootleg fireworks and blowing cars up. <laughs> Be like that. That's true. You get those little plastic shitty cars that'll blow up and just. Yeah, I remember. I think it was with you. We melted a tank or something by my mom's gate, like, and it like uh, <laughs> left melted piece. Like, is there still a piece of it still there, like imprinted? <laughs> it's just the it's green like, tanks, um, the GI Joe ones. Yeah, like some little metal ticked one or something like that, and there's still a, like a crusty layer of it still left on there, like resin. It's like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> the tanks fucking lasting. <laughs> Dude, I loved killing those little G.I. Joe guys back then. It was great. Poor guys. Shooting them with BB guns or fucking lighting them on fire with fireworks. Put a fl- You tie a flower to them. <laughs> to light it on fire. It's like... <laughs> melts up the side of them. It's just like... <laughs> Spoils out. You know, you get to play with like an army of like four. <laughs> Where's the rest of your army? <sighs> Casualties. <of war>. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of good men. You open up your bucket where you keep all your soldiers in. They're all just like melted or they have a tacks ball and of nails through them. <laughs> uh, it'd be funny if you keep them all and then you have them all like, spread out of your room. They're like, whoa. What happened? He's really realistic with his war fighting here, huh? <laughs> yeah, he really gets into his, especially into the first and second century. He really gets out his medieval stuff. No. <laughs> he, his Genghis Khan phase was, yeah. it was bad. It was quite bloody. He's like, well, aren't you kind of afraid of the nuclear age? Oh, I didn't even think of that. I plan to put Downstairs. him put him to sleep. Right in. <laughs> oh, he takes a nap. No, uh, we're gonna put him down. <laughs> uh, hey, dude. That, um, yeah, we'll put him down. Thanks for listening. This was a good one. I mean, yeah, use the promo code Lost Minds. Save yourself some cash on the Bamp Beard Oil or on whatever. Get on else. that YouTube channel. Let's make some videos. No. Yeah, check out some stuff. <laughs> Click like, comment, subscribe. Hide your kids, hide your what? <laughs> Can the ship's been destroyed? You probably noticed. The ship's 95% gone. It's hard to notice. The only thing I can notice is that delicious beard. Thank you, Captain. I've been using past beard oils from Blunt Earth. Great Scott. Theodore, you say? Bump. Where can I get these? At brickhearson.com with a 25% discount at the end of the podcast. How do I get this 25% off? You gotta listen to the end of the podcast where you can just scroll to the end of the podcast and go listen to the last five minutes, but then you'd be missing out on a lot of cool shit. Roger that. I'll be sending you the broadcast as well.